Thank you so much, Clara, for welcoming us here in Little Rock in Arkansas. Yeah, you're welcome. Tell me, Clara, how did you end up in Little Rock in Arkansas? My husband has family here, and uh, we moved over here from California. I met my husband online on a game. It was actually a mafia game, and he busted me out of jail a lot of times. And uh, that's how we met and how we started talking. So after we met online, we decided to uh, meet up for real in real life. So um, he was living in California at that time, like really close to the beach. And we figured I would go over there and have a vacation. And if it didn't work out, then it would just be a vacation, a nice memory, and I would just go back home. But it did work out, and we got married about three months after we met, and we've been together ever since, for 10 years. After 10 years living here in the U.S., um, I very think that still challenge you. I really don't like the heat. It, it drives me crazy. It's summertime. How hot does it get? Um, like between 35, 40 degrees or hotter sometimes, and it's like every day. In Belgium you get a heat wave and it lasts a couple of days and it's done. But here it's like all summer long, every day, usually around 35 degrees or higher, so it's really hot. How is it to raise a family in the US? It's like a more relaxed kind of life. In Belgium everybody's always hurrying. You can raise your children like a little bit closer to nature. The schooling system is very different here. I don't really like it all that much because like the last three or four months of the year, of the school year, are all about standardized, standardized testing and they just do, they practice and practice and practice for it and then they do the tests and then after that they don't really learn anything anymore. So I think they just do a lot of studying in the first couple of months and then not so much at the end. That's how the schools get their funding. The better they do, the more they get funding. Were there any uh, shooting recently in Arkansas? A couple of months ago, we got a, a phone call from school saying that the school was on lockdown because there was a shooter um, in the neighborhood of the school. So they all go on lockdown and it's like scary to get that phone call like, there's a shooter close to my kid's school, like someone that has a gun and is walking around close to my child, it's really scary. How long were they locked down? Um, I think it was like a half hour, and the kids don't really notice, they don't, unless it's like an actual shooter in the school, then they would probably notice, but they just have to all close all the doors to the, they have like pods, they close those doors so they can't go into the cafeteria. They have tornado drills and earthquake drills and shooter drills, active shooting drills. How often do they practice? In the beginning of the school year and then after Christmas. What was the, re the reaction of your oldest daughter the first time she had to be trained to a... Uh... I don't... I, she's never even said anything about it. We always get like a letter at home saying that they did the drills so we can talk to our child if they have questions. But for them it's more like a game, I think, mm -hmm. since it's never really happened before. You're a family person, you really enjoy spending time with your husband and really take care and of your daughters. But outside of your family, what do you really love doing? I like to read, I like to make puzzles, I like to cross-stitch. What was the biggest puzzle you've ever made? Uh, we made a 5,000 piece puzzle uh, a couple of months ago. How long did it take you to finish um, it? About 20 days to a month. I did it by myself in 21 days. How many hours time. a day? Um, like maybe three or four hours. And my kids would help me. They, they like the puzzle too. But you also told me that you were going back to school. Mm -hmm. How is it in the US to go back to school as an adult? They make it really easy to go back to school. I got my uh, GED here, which is like a high school diploma first. And I did really well on that and I got a scholarship for my for my college that will pay for all the tuition for two years. Right now I'm doing all my prerequisites and when they are finished I would like to become a medical sonographer, which is like taking ultrasounds. And what advice would you give to a fellow Belgian that would move in the US? Be happy. Just try to be happy. If you're not happy, don't stay in that situation. 
If you're not happy, just go somewhere else. The United States is really big. You can find somewhere else to go and be happy. And That's a good advice. Yeah. Don't worry. Be happy. Exactly. Thank you so much, Clara, for your time and your interview and the time we have spent here in uh, Little Rock. I really had a great moment. You're welcome, and thank you for coming to visit me. It was really fun. Yes, thank you. <laughs>